What up, folks? I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Chara Kirk. Hi there. We're gonna look at Ant-Man and the Wasp, trailer number one. Wasp. <laughs> Jesus. I'm very excited to see this. I liked Ant-Man part one quite a lot, even though it went through a lot of hurdles behind the scenes. I think the film still came out really, really good. And so I'm looking forward to this one. Ant-Man is definitely one of my favorite characters amongst yes. the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I just have one question. When Cap needed help, if I'd asked you, would you have come? I guess we'll never know. But if you had, you'd have never been caught. I do some dumb things, and the people I love the most, they pay the price. Thanks to you, we had to run. We're still running. Let's go. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> So I take it you didn't have that tech available for me. <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Death by giant Hello Kitty Pez. I love it. I feel like the wasp steals the show in this movie. She's gonna completely take over the movie. I'm not mad at it. I'm like, she looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> the gymnastics she's doing and running on the side of the knife like it's a wall and she's just kicking ass left and right. He's just there to keep the humor going. She doesn't really have like a whole lot of humor to her like yeah. Paul Rudd. Yeah. She's just badass. That's a good balance. But I hope he doesn't become like this cheerleader of a character, you know what I mean? I hope that they still manage to like go at this 50-50 somehow. All you saw in that trailer was her just shredding these dudes to bits. Well, we know already how awesome Ant-Man is. In a way, this is her introduction to be like, hey, we all know and love Ant-Man. He's hilarious. He's awesome. Right. And then here is the Wasp and she's equally really badass and cool and I'm very excited to see more of her in action. By all rights, she should be more badass than him. He came into the game and she already had a whole bunch of training right, on yeah. her belt and whatnot and she was like teaching him how to fight and whatever. It makes sense. But I really like Paul Rudd a lot and I really hope he doesn't get sidelined in yeah. his own movie. Like. Even though I was fine with it in Mad Max, I really don't want it to happen here. Well, I don't think he could be sidelined. He's still gonna shine because he's Paul Rudd and right. he's just so good at what he does. Achara and I aren't as well versed as most people who read a bunch of comic books. We just looked up who uh, Lawrence Fishburne is in IMDb and it says he's gonna be Goliath, who is one of the first major African-American heroes in comic books, apparently. I didn't know anything about this dude, so that's cool. I was just trying to figure out who the villain was in looking at the IMDb because I saw a dude with like a mask that looked like you know, we didn't see Lawrence Fishburne in the costume, but I guess that'll come up towards the end of the film because they haven't indicated it at all in this trailer, but it's a teaser more than anything. So it might come up in the next in, uh, in the next ad for Ant-Man. There is a character in the movie labeled the Hot Jogger. That's a good way to label a featured extra. Yeah. The Hot Jogger. The Hot Jogger. Yeah. I, I can't figure out who the, who, who, who the villain is based on this information. So you guys will have to educate us on that part. I really like how they're bouncing back and forth between the quantum level and the regular level. One of the things I loved about Doctor Strange, for instance, is how they really took advantage of the things they set up. Like, this is the universe we're playing in, right. and then they really push the boundaries of that universe, and I feel like they're doing the same thing here, where this is these are the rules we set up, and they're really pushing it. It's the antithesis of Inception, where in Inception, they set up all these ideas, but they don't really ever reach the heights of those ideas like they should have. It's called Chekhov's gun, right? Right. So they set this thing up, and they don't really use it. Chekhov's gun is everywhere in Inception, and it doesn't really get used, whereas here, it's constantly being used, uh, at least as far as the commercial's indicating, like I love the little bit with the van shrinking down and then popping up yeah. and the other van flying away. Like 
It, it, it's clear from the trailer that they're using it quite a lot throughout the film with Wasp shrinking down and, and blowing back up. Integrating that into the choreography is a really, really neat idea to me. I love that. And they're not just doing, you know, quantum level of doing like this huge macro level as well, which is really cool. Like I love that that was introduced in Captain America Civil War and that they're bringing it back here. I don't know what they're doing with it, but it looks cool. They're tearing through the streets of San Francisco with these car chases that are like really crazy and epic. It's like bullet, but taken to a whole new level. Bullet's a Steve McQueen movie. Uh. I'm very, very, very excited for this film. I cannot wait to watch it. It is going to make July a very, very exciting month. I was so excited with the death by pairs. Not only pairs, but Hello Kitty pairs. I think my favorite scene in the whole trailer was the one where uh, the wasp is in the kitchen mm -hmm. and then they throw the knife at her and she's like, turns small and then like runs down the side. I was like, oh my God, mind blown. That was so awesome. I was concerned for her wings though. After watching The Incredibles, anything that's an additional appendage uh, out of your body, I'm like, yeah, that's just a recipe for disaster though as a superhero. 